Oh, hello friends. So I just completed an eight day trip to Napa Valley and San Francisco, two days in San Fran and just six to seven days in Napa Valley. And one of the things I did was a hot air balloon ride. And that's what I'm sharing with you in this video. I'm going to give you full footage from like before we got on the balloon during our flight, which was one hour, and then what the process was like after we landed in this beautiful field where I am going to share all of the details with you in this video. Also check out the full trip if you would like. So here go our tips and tricks guys. Tip number one, wear warm clothes. So I was planning to wear this really gorgeous dress <laughs> um, and no, that would not have worked. I'm glad I didn't. You want to wear layers, so like a sweater and jeans and, and this is in the fall, okay? So I went in September, today's September 28th. So it was cooler temperatures were low 50s this morning so I wore a sweater and my jeans and then a long cardigan over it and um, that was sufficient once you get into the balloon it will be warmer because they're literally using hot air to blow this balloon up right and keep it afloat but dress smart also you have to climb over the basket to get into it and you have to climb out and it's pretty tall so you're going to be swinging your legs over so you don't want to wear like a short skirt shorts shorts or you know anything like that so dress smart next tip do not wear dress shoes I pretty much ruined my Jimmy Choo's out here. Yes, they are flat. Yes, they are closed toed, but they were not the smartest thing. Maybe you want to wear like some sneakers or um, just something that you don't mind getting messed up. And the reason for that is you may have a walk when you get off of the balloon, but we will get to that in just a moment. Next tip, bring your camera. 
I brought my Canon Rebel T7i and it was perfect because I was able to zoom in and all the little details as you have seen from this footage so definitely bring your camera it's totally fine also bring your cell phone and have it handy and there's lots of space in the basket where you can like put them down and have free hands and just be able to be in the moment next thing night before so this balloon takes off at like 6 a.m in the morning um or between 6 and 6 30 so you don't want to have <laughs> a long night the night before you want to get to bed early don't drink too much you don't want to wake up hungover and lightheaded and all that now i wouldn't recommend that you eat this is the next tip if you get um lightheaded or dizzy or nauseous you know when you're flying you're going to be in a basket floating around the air things can get a little bumpy so if you get sick easily you might not want to eat however the company we used a lot they did provide some breakfast options for us so once we got there they had like muffins and croissants and coffee and you know things like that i'm actually still there <laughs> at the site all right guys next tip prepare to land in the middle of nowhere so our basket landed in a field as you could see it was absolutely beautiful out there however um, I know the ride is like an hour you're gonna need to block about three hours for this whole trip because where we landed we had a quarter mile walk back to the shuttle that was taking us back to where our car was and then the drive was about 15 20 minutes I think um, you know back to our car so you want to budget that time we also had breakfast so that was like an additional half an hour so it was a lovely breakfast by the way and that was a nice surprise for us we didn't know they were going to provide breakfast so it was absolutely wonderful to get off the balloon starving at this point and then going to a lovely breakfast we had mimosas and lots of different options available and that was great next tip leave a tip <laughs> be prepared to tip your driver i know you're going to probably um well for us we only paid a deposit of ten dollars to secure our reservation which we booked since july so we booked it like three plus months in advance but be prepared to leave your um balloon driver i guess <laughs> a tip they do an excellent job it will be one of the most memorable occasions you will ever have at least for me it was it was fabulous i would be happy to do it again so be prepared to leave a tip and that's just going to be whatever you are comfortable with some facts about it we went 6.5 miles away from where we took off we um, went up 2700 feet which i think is about 250 stories and our highest speed i think was 30 miles per hour so it's a nice ride guys definitely do it if you're thinking about it i think i will do it again um in another city that offers it i would love to do it over the ocean that's what i'm thinking my next one would be but i hope you found this video helpful please leave me a comment if you did let me know what the highlights were for you see you guys in another video